Hey everybody, this is the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to episode 73 of Strategic Command World at War. This is Death Throes of the Reich Part 3. Hitler died last time, if you saw that one, and now uh, things are just about over for our uh, the Germans, as you can see. What's left of Germany here? Just let me look at that. Look at this. Look how close the Russians are to the Rhine. Oh, man. And the Western Allies are just like all over the place. They don't know what's going on after a year and a half of me beating the snot out of them uh, as the German players. So we're going to put this new guy right here. He's probably going to die real soon. Um, let's go ahead and place the kamikazes that I that I purchased uh, for Japan. And I'm actually, because I don't have anything up here, and that's not good. Because the Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. Um, <laughs> and that's, that, that's not no hyperbole there. Here they are. Invading Manchuria, or the Japanese would say Manchuko. So let's get into it. And let's just go ahead and start right here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do... Dude, really? That's all you can do? That That's not what I was... Because you can't get... Uh, I could put him there, which might help. But I really want somebody in Frankfurt. And I don't think you're going to do much. Um, yeah, let's send him by rail. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of stupid, but you know, we have to do what we have to do here. Uh, let's let's come down here. Actually, get this done first. Okay, you're going to hold quote fortress unquote Bucharest. You're going to flee. Got to remember to left click. Garrison will hold Budapest for a few seconds here. Uh, oh man, that fortress. All right, let's go ahead. Really, you can't make it to Nuremberg. Come on. All right, actually. We will just leave you there to help protect the alternate capital here. I know it says alternate industrial, but the capital sometimes can move there. Um, he's actually dug in a little bit, so we'll just leave him there as well. Um, you're going to abandon that and go to uh, Dusseldorf. We'll pull you up here. Um... We're going to try and blunt this, really? There. Blunt the Soviets a little bit here. Uh, now, then we have these units here, but of course these are Volksgrenadier, otherwise known as useless cannon fodder. But, um, actually, I'm going to put him there. <laughs> Let's just put him there. And can I get him to... No. Ah, that's too bad. Uh, he could go to Potsdam, maybe. Um, if I pulled you back. Yes. So we'll put him in Potsdam. So there's the last stand of the German Reich, everybody. This is pretty much it. None of this down here really matters. Uh, as far as Italy goes, um, you know, what do we got here? 32, which is pretty good, actually. 36. 64. Dude. Um, he's entrenched. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and reinforce him because he's doing all right. These, they're not going to make any progress. And apparently the Allies are just never going to invade anywhere else. So we're going to operate you um, to try and slow down our pals, the Soviets. Let's put you in Zagreb. Let's see if we can create a little speed bump there. Um, maybe that'll encourage the Western Allies to do something. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, and look at this. They're about to break through and join up with the Turks. Okay, so now in um, Asia, let's go ahead and... Really? He can't be reinforced. Wow. <clears throat> I do. Yeah, I've got 177 MPPs. 
Uh, here's what we're going to do. First of all, wait, I remember up... Oh, this. Oh, good Lord. Oh, man, what do I do here? This is rough. This guy needs to be reinforced, but I, I have to... Well, all right. Oh, it's a headquarters unit. What do I do? Duh. I'm stuck with it. All right, we're going to reinforce you. Um, we're going to try and hold Xion. I can't. It's not going to do me any good. What is this guy's? Yeah, he's not in bad shape, actually. All right, let's pull back behind the river. Um, you're going to pull back. You are going to stay there if I can reinforce you. And I can. You're going to start your way back. Uh boy. And here, there's nothing for you guys to do but wait to die. I could upgrade them. I think, actually, I'll upgrade these guys. Um, just, again, to maybe slow them down a bit. That might be worth my while. It's not costing me a huge amount of, of MPPs, so, you know, why not? And you I can't upgrade because you're up against the enemy. You I can, and I'm going to just, you know, if it slows them down, like, just even a bit, that would be helpful. Um, I'm also going to get upgrade. Oh, he's not upgraded. Good lord. Oh, and I can't do it. Shoot, I didn't know I had infantry here that wasn't upgraded. Yeah, this yeah, no, he's upgraded. Who have I got that I can send north? Um, you. But I have no MPPs to move them now, so okay, we'll just wait and see about that. They're not gonna invade this turn. The Russians. I, I'm actually more worried about a Russian invasion at this point than I am the Western Allies, because they don't seem to be doing diddly squat. No, oh, took a hit and did nothing. How did that happen? His morale is one percent. Mine is one percent. My readiness is sixteen. His is thirteen. Wow, bad news. And what's uh, my Guadalcanal guys look like? Morale is horrible. Readiness is wow. So these guys too are probably horrible. Yep, they're just everybody sucks. Everybody sucks. Excuse me while I yawn. Um, it's weird to have MPPs left over, but I do. Um, so I can't do anything. Yes, I can because I left you there. I can also upgrade. What can I upgrade? Uh, I think I'd rather reinforce you. So von Manstein will get reinforced. That's no, oh, no. I still have MPPs left. Wow. Do I have anybody that needs reinforcing here? Um, you guys moved. You're fine. Okay. Um, I think that's it, except I usually do this at the end and then I forget and all that. Let's look at morale, shall we? Japanese morale is 49%. That's awfully good considering Italian morale's 19 yet getting close a few more points down and it's surrender time I think and the Germans look at that they actually went up a tick they ticked up when they called up their reserves don't ask me why that would excite you to see your dad or your grandpa going off to fight the Russians but uh, that's what they did so here we go Soviet morale is boosted by the liberation of France well okay and, uh, oh, Vichy's going to join soon here. And that will, of course, expose Italy. If the Western Allies have anybody to throw over there. Lots of rain, which is, of course, the best friend that the uh, Axis can get is rain. Slows everybody down. Look at, <laughs> look at that. Antwerp, Brussels... You know, you could push beyond that and, you know, I don't know, attack somebody. 
just a thought. Crazy thought. Um, boy, Western the AI for the West is like they're just loafing, man. Really? Okay, Americans got tired of waiting. Said screw you. So now we have allies. The Vichy, the mighty Vichy army. Look at that. They just is now on my side. And I should have put somebody in Ching Chow, and I did not. And I'll bet you that tank can get there. That was stupid. Uh, boy, if he gets into town, I'm really screwed. Yeah, this rain is helping the Germans. See if they can put together a little fortress here and do something maybe. Oh, no rain here. So I think Singapore is going to fall this turn, especially if they drop some air power on it. Lord knows they've got plenty of it if they want to bring some of their carriers down here. These ships, it amazes me. The AI keeps moving them around. They don't do anything. They don't like bombard. Somebody else, maybe one of their mainline carriers with experience. Nope, that escort carrier also bought another escort carrier. They got a lot of escort carriers, don't they? Boom. Hurting my morale even more. Of course... The morale in both of these places sucks, so... <clears throat> okay, the Italians took a big hit. And shattered, so they're gone. You have a straight shot now, boys and girls. The Hague is wide open to anybody that might want to, you know, liberate it. Do took a hit there. And nothing there. England socked in, so that's going to help us. But France isn't. Do down to one. Ha. Dodged a bullet there. I have no idea why I'm yawning. Pardon me. It's Saturday afternoon. What do I know? Boo. Took a hit. Man, they stored up some rocket shots here with this dude, didn't they? Yeah. He's going to break. I've got too many units on the wrong side of the odor, don't I? Well, that's where they dug in, so what the heck. Still going after Nagasaki. I still wonder if the AI is not perhaps leaning towards, if an AI can do that, Operation Olympic. <laughs> Look at that, protected from the air power by the little rainstorms there. Though we're blitzing in, they're blitzing into Vichy. Here come some Americans. Meanwhile, the Soviets are not joking around. Oh, Bucharest is surrounded soon to die. Look at that, Vichy, the capital. Why didn't they have any units in their capital? Does that not strike you as odd? Because it certainly does me. And Budapest, though, not quite. He's going to hang on for one more shot. Fortress Budapest. Now falls. Boom. Somebody needs to just step in there, and it will be... Oh, boy, he's gone. Bam. All right, so another bridgehead over the odor. Boo. Oh, wow. That was an infantry unit that did that to my panzers. Gee. Shock army. Shocked me. Very little, but... Infantry army. Look at that. Oh, now he's running away. <sighs> Boy, I think I gave you all those tanks for nothing. Wow. Yep, Hungarian. Hungarians take a big hit, but do they're just about gone now. They're trying to run. Duh, nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. You're going to die. So are you. Might take a little bit, though. Apparently, they're dug in pretty well. The terrain's on our side. Awesome. They're going to do the switcheroo here. Can they do that? Uh, don't know. Ugh. So this core is just about gone. One more good shot, and it'll 
No, it held off. Way to go. Good, good show, boys. Let's see who's going to... Oh, here comes an army, but only six points. So he's still out there fighting. Where's your armor, Soviets? How come your armor's not spearheading this? Oh, beautiful. 30% losses. Wow. Dope. Took a hit, but gave twice as much back. We're still fighting here on the Stettin line, as I will now call it, for another 10 minutes or so until it's broken. Yep, here we go. Ooh. Those are the guys I just gave good weapons to. Come on. And you're in the rain. You should do better than that. Uh-oh. Boom. Woo. Held him off nicely. Of course, he should be dug in pretty well. Yes, very good. Okay, Budapest has fallen. Vienna is under siege. And will soon fall. Fortress Vienna. <laughs> I know, it's stupid to call them that. I just like doing it. Because the whole thing was such a stupid thing that Hitler did at the end of the war. And they're gone. So they've pushed through now to... When they advance, they'll be one hex away from Berlin. Where the corpse of Adolf Hitler is burned up in a hole somewhere. Oh, boy. Oh, here go the Hungarians. Bye bye You guys fought bravely and well. But now you're gone. And so is your country. And all that good stuff. So, Buda Bucharest. I'm sorry, I always get those two confused. Bucharest holds. Okay, we're going to do the switch. And there you go. So, you're continuing to just beat your head against the wall. Yep, the AA definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So, by that standard, the AI is insane. Oh, here they come. They smell blood in the water. China's morale must be going up a little bit. Might be able to hurt him, though, next turn. Though, I didn't reinforce him, did I? Oh, that was stupid. He's gone now. Nope, he's holding on. Getting him out's going to be... Nigh on impossible with that armored unit there, depending on what it does. There we go. Boom. So the uh, little little defensive line I set up to help shield Munich almost evaporated in one shot. Here we go. All right. So Dusseldorf, oh, I couldn't quite get there. <laughs> uh, couldn't quite make it, boys. Oh, look at that. Ho, 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 ho. The Russians are on the outskirts of Dusseldorf and Cologne. They are one hex from the Rhine. Gee. Boom. And they getting close. If they switch. If they switch. They'll get it, but they're not switching. Scott G continues to fight well. Man, that that core. They are awesome. That took a hit, but they're still fighting. <laughs> it's amazing. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, excuse me. Swallowed wrong. Come on, Ninny. Fight. Oh, beautiful. I bet that, that guy probably has, like, terrible morale. <laughs> <clears throat> Holding firm in Athens. Ah. So he went the different way than I thought he would, but now he's <clears throat> may have successfully blocked three. Ah. So they're finally getting to the invasion of Japan. And they have no port, so, but they're not giving up. Jeez, they may actually... No! Why didn't you attack Nagasaki? Ah! AI, you're so dumb. If you had attacked Nagasaki, you might have gotten that port. Oh, he gets to get in there. So, okay, so they have been liberated. Meanwhile... Field Marshal Rommel's begging you to come liberate him before he goes to Siberia for the rest of whatever. You know, assuming he survives. <clears throat> but uh, no such luck. I do. That's, I would gather from all this. Oh, okay. Oh, there's some armor. Belgrade is still part of the Reich. Ah, they broke through. Wow, we're... Yeah, those three units are dead. They're not... Well, the infantry corps might be able to get out. But that's going to be it. The Chinese have finally really outgeneraled us. That was brilliant breakthrough that they had there. Seriously, you guys need to get moving and block the Soviets. Boy, look at the Western Army. It's so small compared to the Russians. Oh, yeah, he should. That's good news for us. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, yay. Yay. 
Hungary surrenders. Vichy surrenders with their stupid army, which wasn't even at their capital, which I still don't understand. Uh, yeah. So now Italy is open from the north, from France. And I have no idea what's going on here. Yep. Spanish Republicans invade Catalonia. Okay. <clears throat> they in pr they're in prison. Oh, I see. Okay. And it looks like that's it. So till next time, this is the Wargaming Guy. Thanks for watching. Take care out there. And next time, I think you'll see the end of the Reich. Tune in to find out. Till then, take care, and I'll see you later.